Hello and welcome. I'm Tanya Schaefer from Schaefer Attorneys. I'm the attorney and conveyancer here. Today we have a Lombardo for Lolo from Rawson's Properties with us. And very welcome, Lombardo. Thank you for having me. Um, how does the um, calculation of the conveyancing fees work? Conveyancing fees are a set tariff that um, was um, established by the Law Society. There's different law societies in South Africa, and it's all uh, it's a tariff that's uh, that's calculated according to the purchase price of the property. So the higher the purchase price, the the higher the conveyancing fees, and with the registration of bonds, it works exactly the same. Normally, the the buyer pays all the conveyancing fees to get the property registered in his name, and also to get the mortgage bond registered in his name. The seller pays for the cancellation of the existing bond, and and the seller and it also normally pays for the wiring certificate, the body beetle certificate and of course the estate agent's commission. If there's anything wrong with the property in terms of the title deed having restrictive conditions, that is normally for the seller's account to uplift. But the normal transfer cost is payable by the buyer. Okay. Um, is, tell me, is it worthwhile um, for you to register properties in the lower end of the market? Yes, definitely. Although our our fees are calculated according to the tariff, as, as I just said. For us, any client is an important client, and even with, it doesn't depend. It doesn't matter how 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 low your fees are. It's always nice having that connection with the client, and then have a satisfactory client that will in future also refer business to you. And we always say that even the small beans also fills the packet. All right. Thank you. Um, will the clients buying the lower end of the market um, get the same service at Schaefer Attorneys as the one buying the more expensive markets? Yes, definitely Lombardo. For us it's very important to have a satisfactory client and I must say the clients that, that buys the, the cheaper houses are actually the client that's so appreciative the day when you phone them and you tell them it's registered because for most of those clients that's a moment that they've been striving for and they, they couldn't accomplish it before. So you're actually part of that memory that they have for, for getting that property. Whereas if you buy or if you register property in, in a businessman's name and he's got 100 more properties, you're actually just a nuisance, just another phone call that he's receiving. So you actually get more that warm feeling of working with clients in a lower income of the market. And we personally also, as property investors, we buy and sell all over Port Elizabeth. And, and we actually like doing it in the lower income um, markets because then you can take a property, you can enhance the value of the property. And because there isn't a lot of properties going around that's good quality for a client in a 400,000 rand market. They, they can't understand actually that they can buy for 400,000 rand a property that's, that's fully uh, full of cupboards, that's got flooring, uh, uh, wooden floors in or carpets. And it's so nice, even if you make a little bit less profit on that sale, it's really that, that depreciation of the client that's, that's worth it at the end of the day, actually more than the fees that you are taking. Um, how does the transfer um, differ from um, the properties that are more expensive and the one that are in the lower end of the market? How does it differ? The, but the properties in the lower end of the market, they normally there's conditions in the title deed um, that the government norm, uh, sometimes donate properties to the lower income and then there's a condition that must be uplifted in Bishu that takes quite a while because the buyer is not entitled to sell the property in a period of eight years from the date that he acquired the property from the government um, and the date then he sell the property. So that process takes longer and when, with the registration of the bond for the buyers, um, the banks got special products for, for the, they call it um, affordable housing bonds, where the bank imposes a condition, for instance, that the buyer must go for education training and receive a certificate that he knows what the bond is all about. So that process does take longer. And of course you have buyers that, if you all of a sudden tell them they must pay 
2,000 rand more for cost than was actually told to them. That can create a big delay and, and normally to assist them, we try to give discount or you know just make it more more acceptable or more affordable for the for the buyer to actually um, keep the um, buy the property and get it registered in their names. All right, well, that's lovely to hear. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can you give a tip to estate agents working in the lower end of the property market? Yes, definitely. The first thing is make sure that your buyer knows exactly what it's going to cost him per month on the bond. Also, the insurance that you will have to take out on the property, because the 200 rand difference can, can be quite a lot to clients in the lower end of the market. And also advise them totally on the payment of the conveyancing fees to get the property registered in their name and the bond registered in their name. That is from the buyer side. From the seller side, make sure that the person that actually gives you the mandate is the owner of the property, the registered owner. Because there's a lot of cases, especially in the lower end of the market, where there was a predeceased father or mother, the children inherited the property, but they never went and report the estate and, and get the paperwork ready so that they are actually the true owners, the registered owners to, to sell the property. So that causes a huge delay because when we get the contract and we see that the selling the seller isn't really the registered owner, then we have to assist the client with getting the estate reported, getting the, the um, uh, 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 advertisements. And although we don't mind doing that, that's additional cost for the client. And you also get a buyer that's then getting unnecessary, uncomfortable with the transaction taking longer. So when you take the mandate, make sure that that, that initial paperwork is already in place. And for that, we can assist any estate agent that that's got the mandate with the property although they haven't sold it to just get that initial paperwork in place so that the time when it's actually sold that we can get it registered much quicker all right thank you thank you